Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. In this video, I'm going to talk about that how you can complete your GATE syllabus as soon as possible. If we look at GATE 2025, it's coming in next four months. So if you have started your GATE preparation just now or one or two months back, then you might be wondering that how you can complete your GATE syllabus and then move to mock test, revision, practice and all these things. And in this video, I'm going to talk about all these things that how you can complete your GATE syllabus in three to four months of time span and what makes me eligible to talk on this because if I look back a year ago I was also in your shoes I started my GATE preparation in September 2023 and I finished my GATE syllabus by December mid so it took me around three and a half months so I'm going to share what are the strategies what are the techniques I applied in my preparation and you also can apply in your preparation so without any further delay let's start today's video you can be from any branch civil electrical computer science mechanical or any other branch it doesn't matter the strategies i'm going to discuss here will be applicable to all of you irrespective of your branch if you want to complete your gate syllabus as soon as possible you can apply these strategies into your preparation but before diving deep into the video i just want to make one thing very much clear to you if you want to complete your gate syllabus in three to four months of time span it's not going to be super easy lots of challenges lots of obstacles are going to come into your way but if you stay super determined that i am going to crack the upcoming gate exam i'm going to complete my syllabus and do all the needful things then you will surely do it so before starting the video let's do a exercise pause this video here and comment below that i am ready for all the obstacles i'll do everything but i'll crack the upcoming gate 2025 exam and like this let's start today's video i'm going to divide today's video into two different sections so that you can understand everything super clearly so let's move on to our first chapter that is the first and very important strategy is this don't allocate your time equally to every topic what do i mean by this if you'll study gate previous year question papers not every topic is as important as some other topic some topics are super important and some topics are less important so we'll allocate our time like this the topics which came into gate exam very repeatedly like every year or in alternative years will allocate our most of time into those topics like if we are studying algorithm we'll study everything but we'll spend more time on the important topics because we have very less amount of time and we need to spend our time very carefully and very strategically. So use your time properly and don't allocate time to every topic equally. Spend more time into the topics which are very important and very needful for gate exam. So this is the first strategy. And the second strategy I'm going to discuss here is that don't see any live lecture don't watch any live lecture go for recorded lectures only why so if you'll watch live lectures this is gonna take a lot of time and if you'll watch recorded lectures you can watch it in 2x speed then it's going to save a lot of time and if you'll watch live lectures you have to study in the pace of teacher but if you'll watch recorded you can uh, shift it according to your pace like if you know some topic you don't need to watch that topic then you can skip that topic right if you will watch in recorded format you can implement the first strategy also if some topic is not that important why to spend lot of time in watching the video and if you'll be watching live you somehow have to watch that part also because after that only the next part will come so watch recorded videos huh. if you want to complete some subject with your teacher also then also watch recorded what do I mean by this? Suppose I was studying discrete mathematics and I wanted to complete discrete mathematics with my teacher. So what I used to do, suppose sir is teaching something today and I used to watch the video next day and like this I completed with him only but I watched the things in recorded format and the videos was used to be of three hours and I used to complete them in two hours of time. Now you might be wondering, sir, you have just mentioned that you used to watch the videos in 2x speed but you've completed three hours of video in two hours of time where the 30 minutes goes to so here comes the next strategy that make your notes while watching the lectures don't keep separate time for making notes i used to make the notes while i used to watch the lectures and if you will also do this it's going to save a lot of time and it's going to help you in your preparation also how 
suppose you are watching a lecture okay and if you will make notes at that time what you are listening you are writing to so it will give a better understanding for you which will help you in your preparation so these are the most important three things that i applied into my preparation and if you will also apply this into your preparation it's going to surely benefit you so let's move on to our next chapter that is In this part, I'm going to discuss that how we are going to allocate our time to different subjects in this period of time. Suppose you have started your GATE preparation just now, then you've got only 4 months and you should try to complete your syllabus in next 3 months and keep at least 1 month for your revision, practice, mock test and everything. And if you have started 1 or 2 months ago, then you should try to complete your syllabus in next 2 months and keep at least 2 months for your revision, practice, mock test. So we'll see that how you can allocate your time to different subjects. Suppose you have started your preparation just now and you've got only 90 days to complete your syllabus. So what we'll do, we'll exclude engineering mathematics and aptitude from this part. We'll do it this separately and how we are going to do that I'll explain in a bit. Okay. So we have nearly 10 subjects that we are going to complete in 90 days. So if we divide equally, it's going to be 9 days per subject. But you shouldn't do that. Some subjects are very important and some subjects are less important. Volume of some subjects is very large and some subjects are less. So you'll allocate time accordingly. Suppose if I talk about computer science branch, algorithm, data structure, programming are going to take a lot of time, right? So if you are starting with algorithm, keep at least 12 to 15 days for algorithm. Now here is another tip, like if you are starting with algorithm, the subject which you are starting with, you can be from any other branch also, the subject which you are starting with is going to take a bit of more time. Why I am saying so? When you are starting, you don't have any momentum for study. Like you have only 90 days, so you will need to sit at least 8 to 10 hours a day if you want to complete your syllabus. And when you are starting, it's super challenging. So what you should do, just keep 2-3 more days for the subject you are starting with. Suppose you are starting with algorithm and you thought you will complete the algorithm syllabus in 13 days okay so keep 15 days for this like i also started with algorithm and i have allocated uh, 15 days for algorithm but it took me 19 days to complete the algorithm subject so you should properly allocate your time like this the subjects which have more volume keep more time for those and the subjects which have less volume keep less time for those but when you are starting keep little bit more time for the subjects you are starting with and after some time when you will build momentum you will see the subjects will finish very soon okay so allocate your time properly to different subjects and make a proper planning that how you are going to complete the whole syllabus in 90 days of time period so this is the first thing you are going to do let's talk about the engineering mathematics and aptitude part now suppose you are able to finish your syllabus by the December 15th okay and your gate exam is the uh, at the first week of February so you've got nearly 45 days of time so what you should do you should practice your mathematics and aptitude part daily one to two hours on these 45 days why I am saying so mathematics and aptitude is all about practice if you will not practice regularly mathematics and aptitude you are not be able to solve the questions in the exam so what you should do because we have less amount of time we need to understand that our preparation and the person who have started one hour back his preparation is not going to be same so we should do Keep last 45 days and practice mathematics and aptitude every day at least 1 to 2 hours so that we can build a habit of solving mathematics and aptitude question and eventually with the momentum we'll solve in the exam also. So this was the video. In this video I've discussed that what are the strategies you should apply into your preparation, how you should allocate your time. If I have missed something you can comment below. If you have got any kind of doubt comment in the comment section. I'll try to answer all of your questions and if you want me to make some other video comment that also I'll try to make a video on that. So if the video was informative and helpful for you please like the video subscribe our channel for more upcoming videos and don't forget to share your opinions in the comment section thank you so much